and I'm going to fry those up tonight. Wind gusts to between 35 and 45 miles per hour. Whoa! Hey everybody, Seth here. I'm out at a state park and we're gonna do some overnight camping uh, at a backpacking site here. In the interest of having a little more fun, we're gonna t I'm gonna do a little hiking, uh, kinda take the long way around uh, to the spot, and then I'll probably come back here later. I do have some firewood, so I'll come and grab that. Uh, but it, it, winter is here or coming and we are losing most of our daylight, so I've only got about two hours of daylight left. So I want to get on the trail here, uh, get to the site, and get uh, my tent set up and everything like that. Uh, it is about 37 degrees now. Not supposed to get a whole lot cooler than that tonight. I think maybe down to like 36, 35. Uh, we'll see. But there is some plan for some rain tonight. So the rain should be coming in in a couple hours here. Uh, so I want to get everything set up by then and it will give us a chance to test the, some of the gear here that I've got. Uh, I'm using my same one Tigris uh, backwoods bungalow tent, so we will see how that holds up. Uh, it's supposed to be raining tonight and then real windy tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, so we're gonna get things going here, get packed up, head out, get on the trail. Well, I decided to take my jacket off because, go figure, too friggin' hot. 
too hot, so cool off here a little bit. These trails are nice. They're very roller coastery, uh, which has been fun. You can see behind me, but yeah, keep trucking here. Okay, so one little piece of advice uh, while I'm on the trail here. When you're getting ready for any trip like this, one of the most important things that you can do is create a list. Uh, you don't wanna forget anything. I've forgotten many things in the past and I have found that no matter what, if I get that list together, well, I could probably still forget something here and there, but man, makes a difference and you don't want to forget some certain items too you know you might think you have it in your pack but you don't so always double check as well before you go out on a trip anywhere even if it's just an overnight doesn't hurt to double check found out that the hard way so my recommendation is always make a list put it on paper put it on your phone go through it do a check once right before you head out the door you should be good to go I am about at the site here, so I am losing light fast. It took me a little bit longer to get here around the path that I ended up taking. <laughs> so I am going to get my tent put up as quick as I can. I'm gonna have to find some sticks uh, to, to put it up with. Uh, I did not bring trekking poles today like I did last time, so I will need to Either find some dead sticks or I'll cut some invasive, something invasive down. If there's some buckthorn around here, I'll, I'll go for that or find something that's not going to be uh, obtrusive to the natural environment here. So let's get camp set up as soon as I can get there. All right, guys, I'm here. Uh, I am losing too much light too quick, so I am going to, like I said, I'm going to get things set up here right away as quick as I can. Uh, hopefully, I'll beat the rain as well. Rain's coming in. Uh, the mist starting to mist a little more and pick up, so I think that I definitely better get stuff set up here uh, before we get any precipitation. So, all right, gonna get some stuff together here and get this tent up. Rain's coming. <laughs> A little too late here. We'll get this stuff out.
Alright guys, so I like to notch this. Uh, I put a couple notches in the stick here. That way, I want to adjust this a little bit I can. Uh, this notch just helps hold the string here, the guy, kind of the guy line or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that way, if I want this to be a little lower on the stick, or a little higher, based on the height that I want my canopy, uh, I kind of just adjust it by that. I'll untwist it and then twist it and just kind of sits right in there and that seems to work really well. So. All right, so I've got the canopy dropped down in that corner over there. Um, we should be pretty good here. We'll see how the wind goes. Um, I probably have the canopy down for the most part uh, until I get in the tent anyway. So I'm going to get my stuff in the tent and then I'm gonna kind of get situated. And then we are going to see if a fire can be done. It's really muddy here. Uh, this is basically all just dirt, so it's become mud. Uh, so we will deal with that. Um, as soon as I got here, of course, it started, um, you know, it's, it hasn't been raining too hard or anything. It's, it's very light, which is good, but I had to get my gear covered. So I pulled uh, my MTAC poncho out and just laid it over top of everything. So it seems to have kept pretty much everything dry. And now I am going to get my stuff um, into the tent and keep most of my stuff in there. And then I will probably throw the poncho on uh, let's get this stuff in the tent and then deal uh, with about making some dinner here. <laughs> All right, so gears in the tent, got my poncho on. Again, I am going to, I'm gonna walk back. I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna get some wood. Uh, attempt to get a fire going here. Uh, I'll have to check the weather again here and see if it plans on raining more uh, than this, because this is actually not too bad. It's, it's, a, it's a little wet, but nothing, nothing we can't deal with, especially uh, if that's all it's gonna be. Uh, but we will see, so. Now, my last camp was a little colder than this. It's not too cold. I actually brought two sleeping goes. Uh, now, supposedly these each have an R value of 2.1, I think. Uh, so I guess my thought there was that I could stack them and, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get too muddy over here, that I could stack them and get a little more uh, R value out of them. You know, it's not in incredibly cold tonight. Uh, it's, I think it is gonna be in the mid 30s. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, but I'm gonna blow both of them up, stack them up, and then I also have uh, another just kind of random um, pad here that I'm going to lay out for just some added uh, added cushioning and insulation. Um, and then I've got everything else as, as normal. So let me get some things set up here uh, and then try and get this fire going. Okay, I'm gonna sit on my chair instead of the picnic table so my butt doesn't get too wet. It is muddy out. <laughs> oh, man, that site's a little muddy. That's okay. But first things first, I need a cup of coffee, warm up a little bit. I do got a fire going. We're, we're going, we got that going. So I'm gonna cook a little dinner over the fire actually. Got some spicy tuna, some just some um, noodles, and some, I think this is teriyaki sauce. 
So this is actually kind of a little uh, ready to eat meal pack. So all I really have to do is warm it up and then I will mix in the tuna with that. And then I also have some Korean beef bulgogi and uh, if I'm saying that right, and I'm gonna fry those up tonight uh, over the fire hopefully or, or something. And yeah, I am definitely hungry, wet, muddy, cause I'm coffee. Right, just gonna show you guys the setup here as well so I got the Christmas lights going again I'm actually pretty excited to <laughs> get dinner eaten and done and get cozied up inside the tent tonight uh, listen to the rain trains are coming by making things are making noise in the woods right now as well so yeah I'm excited actually Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. All right, so I moved uh, just to the other side of the picnic bench here. The wind was not doing me any favors with the smoke from the fire. Uh, kind of coming right at where I was at, so I figured I'd just move to this other side. A little wetter on this side, but no big deal. For breakfast tomorrow, I've got uh, sausage and hash browns. I'll take those out. So I got noodles. And sauce. Which I'm actually going to cook in here. And then I'm going to cook the uh, these guys in here. That is hitting the spot, guys. Well, honestly, I'm going to uh, eat the rest of my dinner here, and then I am going to get all cozy up in the tent, put the fire out, and get inside the tent. It is not stopping rain in here.
Uh, of course, as soon as I get in the tent, it sounds like the rain has kind of stopped. It's supposed to start back up again around uh, like 11 or midnight or something later in the middle of the night. Um, so we'll see. It's 39 degrees right now. Not too bad. I think I'll be plenty warm uh, tonight, which will be great. Uh, so I am just going to get in a sleeping bag, get warm, relax here, and just be out of the cold, muddy, wet rain. My boots are muddy, my pants are muddy, everything is muddy. <laughs> so we'll see what Breaking Down Camp is like in the morning. It's not supposed to be raining in the morning, so we'll hopefully get some breakfast over another fire in the morning, which would be awesome. Looking forward to that and looking forward to some hot coffee in the morning. Um, but for now, I'm just going to enjoy these Christmas lights and probably watch a movie or something. Get to bed. So, signing off. Okay, so quick update. It is raining. Uh, started a little earlier than I thought it was going to. It's nine, around nine-ish now, so it's going to persist, I think, until about midnight. Uh, other than the condensation from just my own breath, I think that I will be just fine. I don't see any leaks or anything. Um, and it's not raining overly hard or anything. Um, but it has picked up a little bit now and it is raining. So I am definitely going to sign off here and uh, catch you in the morning. One, five. Till tonight may reduce visibility to one mile or less. Northwest wind gusts to between 35 and 45 miles per hour are expected on Sunday. A wind advisory is in effect for Sunday. Wind advisory remains in effect from 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. Sunday. What? Northwest winds 25 to 30 miles per hour with gusts up to 45 miles per hour expected. Another update here. It's about 2.30 in the morning. And uh, we'll see, well, there it goes. The wind, uh, the rain had stopped, but the wind has picked up. Um, some pretty big gusts going on right now, so it's kind of uh, keeping me awake a little bit, so I figure I'd give it an update. Tent is full of condensation, uh, which is to be expected between my breath and the rain. And there is not a lot of good ventilation for that type of thing in this tent particularly. <clears throat> which isn't too bad, but unfortunately when the wind gusts hit the tent it's kind of you know kind of uh, some hitting some of the water off dripping onto me so nothing that's gonna be too bad I'm just gonna get back into the sleeping bag here and then I'll be I'll be fine through the night uh, but we will see we will see um, hopefully the wind doesn't get too bad I've got the tent staked up pretty well so hopefully we don't have any issues here um, but yeah let's just see if we get through the the rest of the night with a uh, intact tent would be great. So, all right. All right, another update here. It is almost morning, not quite, it's still pretty dark out but the wind is really blowing in now. So uh, the front part of the tent is kind of opening it up a little bit, but it's cooling down a little bit here because of that, getting some wind in here. Maybe it'll dry off a little bit in here. Uh, oh! But yeah, wind is whipping around. Uh, gonna, gonna try and uh, get a little more uh, rest or something here. Uh, wait, just wait for the sun to come up and then get out and survey outside. Tent's holding up okay. Uh, I don't need to tighten anything up. I think we'll be fine until, uh, oh, <laughs> until, uh, morning, until the sun comes up here. All right.
winds were really whipping this morning. It got just worse and worse. And I think it's gonna be about the same throughout the day here. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to stop at all. So I think what I'm gonna do is break down the tent first. Everything is packed up as far as the tent and all that goes. So the wind is intermittent, at least the strong winds at least. I'm going to attempt to make some coffee and some breakfast <laughs> in the wind. So we will see here if that's doable. Gonna get a little fire going. If it's too windy, I'll just put it out. Uh, but I got the little picnic bench here that might block some of the wind from the fire too, so let's see what we can do.
right, I am all packed up. We're ready to go. Fire's out and the wind is still roaring. This is a pretty good camp, you know, all things considered. We had some rain, we had lots of mud, wind, cold. Uh, the tent held up great actually, the, the one tigress backwoods bungalow. Uh, you know, it wouldn't be my first choice, I guess in a super windy climate like this, but I brought it anyway. And I wanted just to see how it would perform in the rain and everything else, and it did great. You know, the only downside of that tent is that it, it does not have good airflow, so there was a lot of um, condensation, but that is what it is. Uh, otherwise, it held that, took those winds great, especially for a bushcraft style tent that really is just, you know, you put, I put it up with just sticks today, and that seemed to hold uh, to 40 mile an hour gusts here. Uh, as you can see, it's still windy. Hopefully, you can hear me. If you enjoyed this video and I appreciate you watching, toss it a like. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. My name is Seth and I will see you in the next camp.